Sony is one of the biggest Chinese retail conglomerates founded in 1919 in Nanjing City, with more than 10,000 stores spanning across 700 cities. Today we're here at the flagship store, which is one of the largest of Suning's flagship here in Nanjing, where it's founded. Growing out of a 200 square meters home appliance franchise shop on Ninghai Road in Nanjing, Suning has become a multi-billion dollar retailing empire within the past three decades. Its business scope covers three main sectors, retail, real estate, and financial services. In this video, let's take a glimpse of the 30-year-old Chinese retail conglomerate's retail innovation journey. As a household name in China, Suning has more than 2,600 bricks and mortar shops across 600 cities, with stores stocked with air conditioners, refrigerators, computers, and smartphones. Suning provides quality products for the country's growing middle class. It serves more than 600 million customers at home as well as abroad. Starting 31 years ago as an air conditioner distributor, Zhang Jingdong, Suning's founder and chairman, built a retail giant both online and offline from scratch. The rags to riches entrepreneur believes that enterprise have a duty to give back to the community, which is the value Suning has always been fostering. Apart from corporate social responsibility, Suning also emphasizes beliefs in open communication and solidarity among their employees. Suning has more than 280,000 employees around the world, they are the company's biggest asset. At Suning's headquarters in Nanjing, workers can unwind by hanging out at a world of hookah. Hookah refers to a Scandinavian lifestyle which evokes a feeling of warmth, comfort, and hugs. Hookah's wide assortment of libraries, lounges, cafes, and micro kitchens provide employees with spaces and natural calm, relaxation, and rejuvenation so that they can stay healthily energized throughout the day. In recent years, Suning has developed many innovations in retailing, one of which is the checkout free convenience store. What you need to do is to download a Suning app, scan the app's QR code at the entrance, and just watch the magic happen. Okay, I'm about to enter this ultimate store. First, I'm about to scan this QR code. That should allow me in. And then I can choose whatever snacks or beverages I want. You have a Diet Pepsi, it is. Okay, since I don't have any hands, this is very handy for me to just walk right through and then voila! And I'm getting a notification on my phone saying that it's been paid. On the flip side of grab and go shops, we have what we call here experiential retail. Here the shopping context changes. It's no longer about buying and spending money, but it's more about experiencing the brand and it's about brand storytelling and immersing yourself in a new lifestyle. Subs is a chic boutique involved with Suning's all scenario smart retail ecosystem. It sells everything related to a glamorous lifestyle, from beauty to high-end fashion, and from organic food to environmental friendly furniture. All the products are selected from overseas. When entering a sub store, you will see the dietary supplements run seamlessly into cosmetics, into fashion, into a gallery space. Suning hopes to coax subs into a hub of culture and commerce for the Chinese younger generation. In a shop like this, you are invited to play with the products in context, for example in this kitchen. And you may notice that there's no price tag attached to the products. If you want to buy this water bottle, for example, all you need to do is to scan the QR code, it will link to your Suning online platform directly, and you can put it in your virtual shopping bag, it will be shipped to you directly. As the coronavirus lockdowns keep consumers indoors, live streaming e-commerce has become all the rage in China. In 2020, an estimated 617 million people, about 43% of China's population, viewed live streams. Of those viewers, 388 million made purchases via live streams. While live streaming e-commerce has been driven by Generation Z and Millennials mostly, now middle-aged Chinese and seniors are jumping on the trend as well. This is a typical live broadcasting room where bloggers and influencers could promote various products to their fans on social media platforms such as Xiaohongshu and Taobao. Due to the pandemic, social live streaming e-commerce is expected to grow very rapidly. With hundreds of millions of users, the market size is expecting to hit 1 trillion RMB very soon. 